Hi, welcome to Biostock. Spago Nanomedical has recently submitted an application for a Phase 1-2A study within the Tumorad project to the Australian authorities. The study will evaluate a new radionuclide therapy. Here to tell us more is the company's Chief Development Officer, Paul Hargreaves. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Let's start out broad. What are radionuclides? Radionuclides are a class of drugs that basically combine a drug delivery system with an actual radioactive isotope, thereby delivering a radiation dose to a tumor of some type. Mm -hmm. So why is there a need for such therapies? Sure. So there are a number of um, radio um, radio pharmaceuticals out on the market already and in development, but most of them are very specific to specific tumor types. There's still a large number of cancers that are not adequately treated, and certainly there is benefit potentially for having a radionuclide therapy that could target those post-tumors. Mm -hmm. So would you say that with, with one therapy, you could go into more than one indication, cancer indication? Sure. Well, that's certainly what Spargo's hope is here. The actual way that our molecule works, which differs from other molecules, is that we use the body's physiological targeting rather than going for a specific protein or a receptor. That physiological targeting hopefully should be present in many different solid tumors, allowing us to have that more wider um, therapeutic range of tumor types. Mm -hmm. Well, getting to the nitty gritty here, uh, you, you've submitted a, an application to start a phase one, two, a trial in Australia of all places. Uh, so the obvious question is why Australia? Yeah, a very obvious question. It's a long way away from Sweden. <laughs> I mean, like Sweden, it has a very good healthcare system, and it also has good researchers that are very used to doing uh, clinical trials with radio pharmaceuticals like our own. But the additional benefit that we get here is that the regulatory process is much faster in Australia than it is here in Europe. So we can actually start the clinical trial faster. And the Australian government has a very good incentive program for companies like our own, whereby we can actually get a 43.5% tax rebate on all the monies that we spend within Australia for this clinical research development program. So it's a win-win for us on both time and money here. Certainly a lot of benefits there. And um, when can you expect an okay from the authorities there? Sure. So you're never quite sure with ethics committees how long that process is going to take. You have an indication. What we're hoping is that very early within quarter three, we'll have a positive decision from the Ethics Committee. Mm -hmm. And from there, we can then notify the Australian government and be ready to start the study. And um, could you tell us a little bit more about the study design in general and uh, the main aim of the study? Sure. <clears throat> sure. So the, the first part of the study is very much a, a dose escalation study. So what we're trying to do is to understand what is the best dose that we can actually give to a patient. So it's a benefit-risk mm -hmm. approach. So we start with a very low dose and we see how the patient reacts to that from a safety and side effects point of view and also take a lot of images. Obviously with the, the radiation we can use PET, SPECT, MRI scanners to see what's actually happening within the body. Mm -hmm. And finally, so what are the next steps when it comes to the Tumorad project? Sure. So the next step is that first patient. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking forward to hopefully getting a patient in by the end of the summer. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds good. And uh, will you be traveling to Australia anytime soon? I I've been told to. Great. <laughs> so I, I know you're looking forward to that. <laughs> Absolutely. That was our conversation with Paul Hargreaves talking about uh, Tumorad Project and uh, the upcoming Phase 1-2A study. Thank you so much, Paul, for joining us today. Thank you for having me again.